All right, boys, I know it feels like I update the quarterback list the most, and it is probably the most important position, and we also just got some of the biggest names. We now have, I think, three or four new cards on this top 10 since the last one. It was 11 days ago, which I normally like to wait at least 14 days, which is two weeks, but Peyton Manning just dropped. Eli Manning came out. We also had a great Will Levis. We have to see how they stack up against Bo Jackson and the rest of the top 10, man. The quarterback list, like I said, probably the one that we're going to keep on updating the most as we get more and more and big names out here to hopefully compete with Bo for number one, but if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, I do them for every position i also do gameplays and all these new cards every single card you see in this top 10 probably have a video on the channel so you can go back and watch them man but i hope you guys enjoy and let's just jump right into number 10 if you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMa, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Number 10, we have the brand new Eli Manning, and I feel like I'm even reaching putting him in the top 10. I know a lot of people might argue that this card is not even usable. I honestly had some good spots with him and some very bad spots with him yesterday in that gameplay. I will say statue quarterbacks are very hard to use. The slowest, I'm talking the slowest linemen that come out are 85 speed. Like, that is the slowest defensive lineman right he is 71 so you are not scrambling at all the one thing that i always beg for when i do these kind of videos or do anything with quarterbacks is why do they give the statue quarterbacks the worst releases in the game not all of them but eli manning quite literally has one of the worst releases in the game but i think the ap is saving him so as you guys know right now it's not fixed yet but they did put out a poll and the poll is obviously winning the extra bucket so they're gonna get an extra bucket they're gonna have these two right here and then there's gonna be a third one so their AP is going to be very good, both on him and Peyton Manning. So you'll see you'll get your one AP Howard Master. You'll also get your zero AP Gunslinger. And then in your third bucket, you'll get Sefi Lead. That is very good. So if you don't end up using Gift Wrapped, because I know a lot of people don't like to, that is a three AP stack. And even with Gift Wrapped, that is four AP. That is an insane stack in the game. One of the best. And also, he gets every theme team when you fully power these cards up and gets another speed on your theme team, which is insane value. It is hard, though, because I feel like you are tanking your quarterback but there are so many intangibles i think eli comes with and also he does have some good zero apx factors down here as well i mean omaha is cool to have for zero i wouldn't pay one ap for either of these two but eli's like i said i wish i could rank him higher but man they they gave him quite literally the worst release in the game but at least his ap stack and the theme team thing is cool Number nine, we thought this was considered a statue quarterback at the time. We really thought this was the statue, but he is also nine speed faster than the brand new Eli Manning that came out. Troy Aikman still, I would say, struggles to get out the pocket, but at least you have a chance. You have a slight chance, but it's better than 0% chance with the Mannings, right? But you are getting a great card statistically across the board. Troy Aikman was one that I did have ranked high when he first came out, but I think the AP value that he brings isn't as valuable anymore because we are getting better quarterback stacks as, the, as we obviously have gotten more quarterbacks. But the thing with him is a lot of people were using this backyard quarterback for zero ap and then they were just throwing a bunch of like apprentices on for the ones that they need on all game because as you guys know the akx vectors turn on and turn off turn on turn off so you really only need so say if you use slot apprentice the most you need on all game you could really use that for zero and then you can go ahead and build the stack over here which would be one ap sefi lead and then also zero ap gunslinger so if you really think about it and you want to use master tactician you could have a two ap stack with gift wrapped gunslinger and also sefi lead and master tactician it is insane he has one of the best stacks in the game you obviously have to cater a little bit with apprentices but i don't know if i can rank him much higher man he is a little bit on the slower end and also the release is kind of mid-pack number eight we got another i mean we're getting a little bit of the slower quarterbacks they've started to release a lot of slow quarterbacks in the game but aaron Rodgers obviously has that slinger one which it was the best release in the game last year it is i would say still decent i would say it's probably like the third best release in the game this year. I feel like I explained that every video, but Aaron Rodgers, definitely a little bit better when it comes to that. You are spending more AP on Rodgers than the last two guys, but I always prefer release. I think release is a big deal. You gotta remember the A gap is a big blitz. A lot of people send six out of uh, like six one. You're getting blitzed a lot in this Madden. You also have the X Factor D lineman. You need to get that ball out fast. And you can see right here, not the craziest stack in the world. You get two AP Sefi Lee, then you can match that with your Howard Master for one. It's not the craziest. I believe it is five AP, but Aaron Rodgers is still a good card. I had a lot of fun using him and i feel like rogers is always one that balls out no matter what in madden i just wish it was like the old rogers days because if this was like madden 23 rogers madden 22 rogers he'd be a top three top four card in the game boys we're getting a little fast here josh allen at number seven i will feel i, I will say josh allen i feel like is a super underrated card i feel like you could even maybe value him 
above the other guy it depends on what you value like ap wise right are you a big ap guy or would you rather have the better release josh allen still has a solid release he has the one that just came out with peyton manning other guys i'm trying to think of who's the most pop josh allen's probably the most popular guy that has anthony richardson also has this release it's a pretty solid one right you are getting a five ap stack on him which is decent it's decent i will say but as you guys know this release has a little bit of a cock back on the short throws the mediums can be a little bit inconsistent as well but it does have one of the best deep releases in the game and like i said nothing really to show here it's a five ap stack and when you guys you guys know what the stack is it's the four main abilities i feel like at this time of the year even if you're new you probably are catching on from the videos and whatnot but josh allen man a great card honestly really cheap too he's at his floor right now i think he's 260k which is the minimum for 97s but number six we do have the 99 pat mahomes and when i think of this card i am basically I'm predicting that you're using the lighted up token on him. You should not use this card at all unless you are using the token. The reason why he has value on this list, and I know it sucks saying that even as a 99 and you need a token for the 99, is because he gets a cheap AP stack. When you put the token in, you do obviously unlock, I think it is the backyard, yeah, the backyard quarterback, which is Hot Master and Playmaker on all game long for zero AP, which is very good. You don't have to pay for Hot Master, and then you come over here, you get your Gunslinger, you go get your set, or Gunslinger right here for zero, you get your Sefi lead, as you guys know, the stack is 4 AP. That is amazing. I mean, it's still one of the best stacks in the game. You're getting it on one of the faster cards in the game, too. And then you're saving AP, which you could put on your offensive line to pick up X-Factors. The one thing with Pat Mahomes, and you're probably wondering, why is he so low? He has good speed. He has one of the best stacks. As you guys know, Pat Mahomes has his signature release, which they still have not sped up since he's been the best quarterback in, in the NFL the last three, four, five years. And it's... Yeah, it's still mid. It's still one of the most mid releases, but I still think he still has a lot of value. It depends on how you value your game. Are you a big runner? I think if you want to save AP, Mahomes is probably one of the best guys to do it because you can still run out the pocket. You can still make a lot of plays. He also has run and gun too for a lot of those guys that like making crazy throw and scrambles. Run and gun can be glitchy when it's on goal game too, man. Pemmo is still a fine card, man. Still a top quarterback. So at number five, we do got Peyton Manning and I want to rank him higher. So as, like I said with Eli, they are buffing this card. It's not live yet. The patch or the buff, whatever you want to call it, is not live yet. But his stack, once that is through, will be three AP, which is the cheapest in the game. I, I know I said earlier with our guy, um, what's his name, Troy Aikman, but Troy Aikman, his uh, his X Factor turns on and off. Peyton Manning, you will have all the four of the abilities on for our for three AP on all game long. That is insane value. The one thing with Peyton though is he doesn't have the best release, but it's much better than Eli. I will say he does have the the Anthony Richardson, the Troy Aikman release, the Josh Allen release. It's not a bad one in the game. Like I said, it has a really good deep. It can be clunky at times. I would have preferred if they gave him like the Bo Jackson, the Andrew Luck release, because then I think Peyton Manning would have probably been the second best quarterback in the game. But when you give a statue quarterback like a solid, like a mid release where you can't scram or make plays at all, you kind of can be left on an island out there at times no matter how good of routes you draw up on the field a good player will make you struggle with him and I think that, like I said the defensive line is just way too insane right now but I think Peyton Manning has so much value in the game if you do know how to pick up most blitzes it's I think this is like one where it depending how good you are in the game he could be like the second best quarterback in the game but if you're not good with these type of players or Peyton Manning he's probably not even top 10 for a lot of people but that's why I kind of slapped him in the middle of the list number four it's still insane that a 95 overall is still a top five quarterback top four quarterback in the game I think some people might even argue him over number three and number two potentially but doug williams is a dog i mean as you guys know he has the best release in the game and i will say that release traditional four i don't know why like last year we had two competitive meta releases or whatever you want to call it this year we have traditional four and then it's like the biggest slope of all time and every other release is so far behind it i will say doug that's why he still has value and also they gave him a great stack too yeah i mean you put the token in him it's six ap so you're basically spending two more ap to have a better release than a guy comparable like mahomes you know what i mean i think like i said i value release a lot more than i think other people do but also i can't even say that because i still see if i'm not seeing bo jackson on the field it's really doug honestly because he's like the budget version the super budget version of him i think doug is still an amazing card and i think people still value release as much as i do number three we got the brand new will levis so he just came out last week i mean this card was definitely a solid one i will say he is basically what i like to call a faster buffed andrew aaron rogers i almost said andrew rogers and aaron rogers so he has the same release as him but you're getting plus 16 speed you're up to 96 speed they gave him insane speed and i will say i don't know i'm actually gonna check this for the first time ever right now i don't know what it's 92 he never fumbles like i swear i i've played against this card this is probably the second most popular card i, I play against honestly 
Kelsey online, and he never fumbles. I don't know what it is with him, but he never drops the ball. I, I don't know. It's kind of insane. I don't know if it's just because it's that brand new card or whatnot, but you can see his stack is pretty solid as well. 1 AP Howard Master. You get your Sefi lead right here. So I believe, yeah, the stack is 5 AP. So he's basically the exact same AP stack as Aaron Rodgers, and he's much faster. Same release, same everything. Will Levis is one of the better quarterbacks in this game. Definitely a solid option if you're getting bored of our number one guy. And at number two, I'm still rocking AR. I mean, I'm personally not rocking him, but I'm rocking him still at our number two spot. I like Will Levis. I think Will Levis definitely is a little bit... He's close. He's very, very close to Richardson. But the reason why I like Anthony Richardson, despite having maybe a slightly worse release, he, like I said, he has the same release as Peyton Manning and Josh Allen. You can might argue that Will Levis and him probably have the same tier release at the game. But I love that he gets an X Factor. You know what I mean? You get it on all game long. I think pass lead, I probably wouldn't use this because even nine plays without pass lead, it will be miserable against all those KOs. But you could use Master Tactician where you could probably save your AP on Howard Master. I believe, yeah, the run and gun is also very, very glitchy out there for... Especially on a 97 speed quarterback. His stack isn't awful as well. So you can see out here. I think people use, yeah, the Cephi lead right here for two. And then you get your Howard Master. It's not the best stack in the world. But like I said, running gun for zero. Or you could use the Master Tactician. He's definitely an amazing card. And I think he's like a one that is like, honestly, I don't, see, I, I'm kind of surprised I don't see him out there as much as I thought I would. He's very good still. He's definitely in, like, no matter what, a top three quarterback, even if you want to switch him with Levis. And at number one, I really wish that we got something to compete with this right now. But Bo Jackson, they really just made him Zeus. I like him, his running back, they made him way too good. Like, way too early in the year as well. He's at 96 overall. And he's going to be a top 10 quarterback no matter what the rest of the year. I don't, like, it's going to be very, very hard for anybody to be better. Because you got to remember, he's basically 99 speed. He is Bo Jackson when you're running with him, too. So, he has the good juke animation. He, I would say, I mean, 84 carrying. That's probably why I think Will Levis is insane. He has much worse carrying than Will Levis. But Bo Jackson, for me, doesn't fumble as much. And I also think that has to do with, yes, he has the broken Shra's ability on there that's on all game long once you get it and then when you come over here boys you get your hot run master it's 6 ap 6 ap 6 ap with truss all game bo jackson is ridiculous i mean he's the best quarterback in the game the only thing you could argue is maybe throw under pressure but i mean dude I, everybody uses him i mean we all see the throw under pressure and basically i i haven't noticed it as much as i think some other people have but yeah, Bo's quarterback one. There's, like, really no debate. All right, boys. Like I said, I update the quarterbacks a lot, but there's been a lot of quarterbacks that have been coming out, and also I know people are getting bored with Bo, and also I think these guys are pretty cool. I mean, it's the Manning brothers. Will Levis is also a very good card. I had to update it for you guys, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.